is the real deal. And this is the fake deal. <laughs> National Mag Lab Take Two Series Marker. Hi, I'm Kristen. Hi, I'm Jim. Nice to nice, meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me, what do you study? Um, so I study uh, how life might have started on Earth. Oh, yeah. that sounds really big and powerful. How do you tell how life might have started on Earth? Well, so we, th we think that it started when there was some collection of organic compounds that came together in the right setting and started making copies of themselves. Interesting. So when you say organic compounds, you're talking about? Things that contain carbon. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and so do you look at like, um, organic compounds, things that contain carbon, like that I am aware of and know and are in my life? Or are you looking at some like fancy organic compound that I've never heard of? Well, so we study all kinds of organic compounds. Some of them you're probably familiar with, things like amino acids, you know, you can, you can buy in the health food store okay. or in the foods you eat. Um, some of them are a little more exotic, some of them we make ourselves. Okay. They're things that maybe have never existed anywhere before, they're, they're new. Um, there's just so many possible organic compounds that some of them are inevitably going to have never existed before. Interesting. So um, how, how do you like, decide which ones to look at? Ah, that's a good question. So, so part of what we do is we look at um, what we find in the natural environment, and particularly in things like um, meteorites. Okay. So these are things that are left over from when the solar system formed, and we think that's the kind of organic material that was available for life to start. So it seems like a good place to look. Right? I see. So do you think of like meteorites as like little time capsules? That's right. Of yeah. organic compounds? That's right. Interesting. Yeah. And and so um, what do you, uh, what kind of organic compounds exist in the meteorites? So many kinds. And that's part of why we're here is there are instruments here that allow us to, to understand what these maybe millions of types of organic compounds are. So. Marker. Hi, my name is Julia. Hi, I'm Jim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, uh, what is your research about? So, I study um, the, the distribution and nature of organic compounds in the solar system. Okay. Um, so, what is the driving force of your research? Uh, what we're really interested in is, is trying to use the information that we can get to answer questions about how life started on Earth and whether there's life on other planets. Exciting. Yeah. So, uh, what did you find out? Well, <laughs> so far we're really a little bit lost about how life started on Earth. Um, okay. We're following a bunch of leads, um, and we still um, don't know whether there's life on other planets. So we're trying to develop the techniques now on Earth mm -hmm. to be able to take to the surface of places like Mars and Europa to oh. say, okay, if you find something, is that a, a signal, right? That is really exciting. So what kind of samples should I be thinking about? What are, what are you actually looking at? Well, some, some of what we look at is uh, terrestrial biological samples. That's our kind of control. And then we have um, lab-made abiological organics, and we have organics from meteorites. Okay. So we can compare these different sources and see how are they unique. So you said you were also going to look at samples from outer space. So um, are you actually are you bringing the samples back, or are you sending instrumentation out? Uh, there are plans to do both. What we generally work with are things that have come in from space in the form of meteorites. Okay. So, so they've been brought to us. Okay. We're not having to get <laughs> How <them>. convenient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, so, what what do magnets actually add to um, to your research then? Uh, so, so these samples are not to be pretty complex, mm -hmm. and to be able to really get that that high resolution separation of of masses is really informative for what we're trying to understand. Oh, well, I, uh, I wish I could learn more about this, but I think we're out of time. So um, time. I, uh, I uh, suggest everybody to check out this link. <laughs>